welcome to my channel. So I just wanted to come on here and explain to you guys how I got a denied prior authorization approved. I think probably a lot of people are going through this right now with Stefanilo or sometimes Ben Lister or some other medications. So even if you have something entirely different than autoimmune disease, this could help you. So like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you get all the updates of everything I'm doing. I will be um, bringing you guys into the infusion center and showing you as much of that as possible and what happens after. So if you're interested uh, in Cefnilo or maybe what the side effects could be, then stay tuned. I went through this whole mess with um, trying to get the prior authorization for Cefnilo after having a bad reaction to Benlista, just in case you haven't been following the past few videos. I finally got the letter. I just blacked out a few things, just some personal information, but I'm going to read it to you guys. Okay, it's really short and sweet. We received your request for a fast appeal on August 4th, 2022, about providing coverage for the injection in a Anaphrolimab Fina, one milligram. So anaphrolimab is a uh, cefnilo. Thank you for bringing this to our attention, I'm sure. We decided our decision to deny coverage for this service is incorrect. You bet your ass it was. So this is how I did it. I basically had to present to them all the reasons why it would behoove them to give me what my doctor is asking in the first place. Basically, because I had the um, the reaction of severe depression to Ben Lista, I was like, hey, listen, you know, if I go jump off a bridge due to the side effect of this medication, which it clearly states on the box um, that it causes suicidal depression and suicidal ideation, and I am really depressed, um, you know, my family's going to sue you because there was an alternative medication and you guys denied it for no good reason. Benlista is a monoclonal antibody. Cefnilo is a monoclonal antibody. So the Benlista worked very well for my lupus. And bear with me because you might have a totally different thing going on and I understand, but the concept is the same, okay? Benlista worked very well for my lupus symptoms but caused this other problem. Now, because Cefnilo is in the same drug class, it's the same type of drug, Common sense and critical thinking would dictate that it's probably going to work well for my lupus, but not. it doesn't have that listed as a side effect. So I'm hoping and really it seems to me that this is going to be a good option for me. I had to explain to them that, listen, this is not going to go well for you guys if something happens to me because you did not give me a drug that was clearly a good alternative. You, you really have to point that out and the reasons why your doctor has prescribed this medication. Now, mm, I'm sure in the prior authorization that your physician did this, but this is the thing. Sometimes you have to fight for what you need. Benlista is maybe a little over $10,000 per year cheaper than Cefnilo. So, I see why they were doing it. It's crappy. I also mentioned to them, you know, I can't put a price on my health, nor should some insurance company. And it's going to cost you more with me being sick and me requiring more medical intervention than me steadily being on a medication that's working for me. So really, you guys need to rethink this decision. And I also let them know if you do not, if you do not approve this medication, I will get an attorney. I'm not kidding. So you really really have to advocate for yourself. Now, I don't care if this is a, a, a heart medication, a diabetes medication, I don't care what it is. If you've run into this problem, instead of them filing the appeal, or I, they would have to do a peer-to-peer -peer review to get the drug approved and doing that extra step, they just were like, oh, well, we don't know what to tell you, like you're gonna have to just go back on the bed list. I don't think so. I did that for a short time, had the same side effect, and then used that whole situation being documented not once but twice to say, listen, no, this is unacceptable. So 
definitely advocate for yourself, you guys. You have to. Sometimes if your doctor's too lazy to do it, you can file an appeal when a prior office denied yourself. And I even let them know my lupus is really active. I'm feeling horrible. I can barely walk. This is crazy, you guys. And um, this needs to be expedited. And I did get a decision in less than 72 hours because I was very on top of this. I was very clear and concise about... This is why you need to approve this, and I will get a lawyer. Sometimes that's what you got to do. You got to fight. It is what it is, you guys. Stay tuned. I'm trying to be more consistent about what days I upload. But right now, I'm coming off the Benlista. I'm only on the Salcept and the Hydroxychloroquine or Plaquenil um, is the brand name. And so, you know, I'm not feeling very good, and I don't have a lot of energy right now. So I'm just doing what I can. And coming on here when I feel well enough to is getting a little hard to walk and, and things like that. So um, hopefully after my Cephnoa infusion, I can just be more consistent and give you guys a set day every week or a couple of days that I'm going to upload. Um, so I'm really hoping to get to that point. Um, so just bear with me guys and like and subscribe, hit that notification bell and stay strong guys.